Okay, I'm going to be talking about my term project, which is Solitaire, and also involves Minesweeper because Minesweeper was my initial project, but I decided to do Solitaire instead. But I do have Sweeper, and it's simple, it's Minesweeper. I do debug mode and cheat, so if I restart, hitting R in debug mode, I can win very easily. No one will ever be the wiser. But of course, for a challenge, there's also normal and hard, which are the same Minesweeper function, they just change the number of mines and number of rows and calls. Okay, back to the real stuff. Solitaire. To play Solitaire, you can drag stuff around and place it where it's legal to place it. Hopefully you know how to play Solitaire, because it's kind of complicated to explain. The ace can be placed in the home row, so of course they light up green, indicating I could place it there. But I'm lazy, so I'm going to double click it and place it automatically. And I can place this 9 on the 10 and do fun stuff. Of course Solitaire is hard, so I probably wouldn't even win, even if I tried to win. I uh, can go through these corner stacks here, see all the cards that are available to play, goes back to the top. I can pause and show the high score list. Of course I haven't won yet, but let's change that. I'm going to hit V to automatically win. Win! The cards start dancing around and my score of 27 seconds was added. I'm pretty good at this. Okay. I can press S to do the same deck again. Or I can press R to play a new one, and it shuffles. Okay, I want to demonstrate how undo's work. First, I can double-click one of these A's, and both will be automatically placed, which is pretty convenient. But let's say I didn't want to do that. I want to undo those moves. Well, I'll just hit Z, and I'll put them back where they were. No harm done. Now let's take a look at the code. Everything here is pretty much started by this one run function, which is called only once. It's initializing the buttons, the high score menu, well, the main menu and the high scores, and all the games. And it also initializes the key pressed, so key pressed will then take whatever input you put in. Or you can also use a button. And from there, it'll call either the minesweeper function or the solitaire function, which will change depending on the inputs you put in, because easy solitaire will put in different inputs than the normal solitaire but not too different. Just changes the graphics and some of the rules of how the games are played. You'll notice that Solitaire is based around all of these guys just by this one Solid Redraw All function which is called by Solid Timer Fired. It draws the background, draws all the cards which are indicated by the corner stacks up in the corner, the away stacks down here, and the home stacks up here. The selected card is what you get when you pick a card up and Solid Time is down here Pause, if you press pause in the help, which is the A button if you want a little tidbit there. And also the high score list, victory, and the dancing card when you win. And that is solitaire.